Hello and welcome to The Chop Shop. My name is Dion Tucker. In this video, I'll discuss how to approach the first note of the day on the trombone. So what's so important about the approach we take towards the first note that we play on our instruments? Well, I'm gonna talk about that in depth, but before we jump into that, I wanna thank everybody out there who's been supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. I read all of your comments, I see all the likes, so I appreciate the support so much. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get a heads up on whenever I put out a new video. Our warm up or the first notes that we play as brass players can really set the tone for the rest of the day. So let's look at what approach we can take leading into that first sound that we make on the instrument. Now there are many different ways that you can approach this. No way is right or wrong. I'm going to just share some of my experiences with you that have helped me throughout the years. Now my warm up has changed and I've taken different approaches to that first note of the day throughout the years. But getting prepared for this video, I really stopped and thought about what was it like even before I played my first note on the instrument. So there was a point in time when my warm up would consist of different types of buzzing, mouthpiece buzzing, free buzzing, things like that. And I would probably spend about maybe five to 10 minutes of just doing these exercises before I even put the mouthpiece in the horn, just to kind of get my body prepared. Now, when I say get my body prepared, really I was getting my lips prepared. I was kind of getting my airstream going, but most of my focus of attention was on my lips and the vibration of my lips and what that vibration was gonna do to affect the initial sound that I got out of the trombone. Now, in thinking about it and really kind of talking through what my warm up used to be, I realized that a lot of what I was trying to do was build confidence. The confidence enough that when I put the mouthpiece in the horn and I go to play, that there's going to be a good sound produced. I kind of realized quickly that I based a lot of what my playing day was going to be like off that initial sound that I would get out of the instrument. I'm going to grab my horn and demonstrate a few things that I do that helps me approach that first note of the day. But before I do that, I want to say this. When you make your first sound of the day, let it be on your instrument before you pick up your mouthpiece or you do any of your free buzzing, just give yourself one note on the horn so that the sound of the instrument can be your reference point for the day. So now that I got my horn, I'm gonna share with you a few ways I approach just that initial note of the day. So before I do any type of exercises off the horn, I just wanna get an idea of what the horn actually sounds like, just so I can get that sonic tone in my ear. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll just stand there with the horn and I'll kind of start a breathing cycle and just observing what's happening, but actually just holding the horn. I think I'm almost kind of going into envisioning what that's gonna sound like, but just with the air flowing and my lips are slightly apart. Now this is not something I'm forcing, it's just something I'm letting happen. And I want my objective when I actually go to play the horn to be how much do my lips have to come together to create that initial sound. I'm not gonna stress out too much about how it's created, I'm just gonna let it happen. So with that same, you'll notice my lips kind of start to come together And then I just transfer that into the first note of the day. Now I don't want 
to use any tongue or any kind of articulation on that first note. I really just want to check in where is the airstream, let it happen regardless of the attack, just letting it happen and letting my body and my ear feel what that note and hear what that note sounds like. Now there's another simple little trick that you can do for the first note of the day, especially if you're worried about what it's going to sound like. Now I know that's a big thing that can cause hesitancy in your approach. So if you're worried about what your first note of the day is going to sound like, then add a mute. So this is just a simple cut mute. I'll add this to the horn and this is going to take away my attention from what the sound was like. So this will just let you get a feeling of that airflow without having to think too much about the sound. Now I'm still trying to play as beautiful as a note as I can, but this gets away from the actual sound and gets me thinking a little bit more about the function. How do I go about creating that beautiful note? And I would say hold the note long enough till you can feel it, you can kind of get that sonic feeling in you, and then go on and do your exercises. Once again, this is not meant to replace anything in your warm up. This is to just give you an idea of how to approach the horn when you're playing these different exercises. So here's another little trick I like to use for the first note of the day. I know a lot of times we'll pick the same note to start on. So for me, I usually start on a concert F. Uh, but I'll change it up sometimes and I'll just pick a different note to start on. So instead of the first note being an F, maybe I'll start on an A flat. But what I'll do is I'll sing the note before I play it. And instead of me thinking about what I have to do with my lips to match the note or anything like that, I'm going to match what I just sang. So I kind of want to emulate my body's function from when I sang the first note to playing the first note. So concert F would be, uh, let's say I want to play A flat. Uh, hopefully that's an A flat. So I'm going to try and match that tone with the way I function, with the way my body functions. Uh, now I'm just going to play that. And I held it long enough just to get a feeling. What does that note feel like? So sometimes for the first note of the day, change it up, pick a different note, see if you can sing it first and then match the body's function of from when you sang to playing that first note. So the last tip I would give you on approaching that first note of the day is the volume that you play it at. I know a lot of times people say to warm up soft, which is true. That is a good volume to warm up at. But sometimes playing soft can be more taxing than playing loud. So you definitely shouldn't play too loud, but you shouldn't play too soft either. That first note of the day should be somewhere in the mezzo forte, just something that once you let the note go, you don't have to do any work to make it any louder or softer. I say once you find that comfortable volume, then back off just a little bit and see if you can live in where that volume is. So there was definitely room for me to push that note a little more. There was a lot of room for me to back off a little more. But on the first note of the day, we don't want to think about that. We just want to let that air go and resonate the instrument.
As you can tell, my approach to the first note of the day is as much mental as it is physical. I like to have a nice, clear mind and a nice, clean slate whenever I start off my playing day. So I'm not carrying anything from the previous day or thinking about what I have to do in that playing day. I can just let that first note set the tone for the rest of the day. Now, how do you go about warming up? Do you play the horn first or do you do exercises off the horn before you start playing? I love to know, so go ahead and drop that in the comments below. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out. I'll see you next time at the Chop Shop.